Hello and welcome to news update on Just Events Online TV. I am Rukoya Shito First the News Headlines. We have received reports on electoral amendment bills. Agbola suspension, choir PDP react, demand immediate reversal. Elori Sauti, IC Chairman, join Clean Our Local Government campaign, presents Waste Bin to Palogo Fulani and others. CSOs, PDP and others. EU Senate decision over our nation's rejection says it is good for democracy and on sport. Messi agrees five years Barcelona contract accept waged courts. Now the news in details. After days of speculation, the House of Representatives on Wednesday received reports of the Committee on Electoral Matters on a bill to amend the Electoral Act. Some alleged salient details of the report have been in the public space for over one week, forcing leadership of the House to insist it was to receive the Committee report. The report was laid before the House Plenary by Chairman of the Committee, Brad Aisha Jubiduku. It is expected the report will be considered for passage at plenary on Thursday before the House embark on its annual summer vacation. Speaker Femi Bajavia Miller has assured that the House will pass the bill before its summer break. Kwara State House of Assembly on Tuesday reportedly suspend a People's Democratic Party member representing Ilori South constituency over public incitement against government of Kwara State. Members of Kwara State PDP has condemned the suspension of Honorable Jima Rahim Agbola, a member representing Ilori South constituency at the State House of Assembly. Honorable Agbola was suspended on Tuesday following a motion without notice raised by the House leader, Honorable Abubakar Magaji Olawi, citing some comments made by the latter on a radio program about the deplorable state of road infrastructure in the state. PDP, in a statement made by its state publicity secretary today at Shaolu and covered just events online news, PDP described the suspension of the lawmaker as unlawful and an affront to parliamentary actions under any democratic dispensation in the world. Ashalu said the suspension of Agbola by the Speaker and two other House members as a Kangaroo pronouncement that cannot be accepted anywhere in the world where democracy strives. Ilan South local government led by the local government TIC Chairman Honorable Subai Sulu Gambare has launched joint us to clean our local government campaign at Balogun Fulani Court makes the symbolic presentation of waste bin to Alhaji Abubakar Atiku, the Balogun Fulani of Ilorme. Speaking today at Balogun Fulani resident, Honorable Subai said the exercise is to support the echo bridge that was launched by Governor Abdurrahman Abdurrazak led administration. He added that the waste bin will be distributed to all 11 wards in Ilorme South local government area of the state. He urged the people of Ilorisa to take advantage and make proper use of the provided waste bin. He noted that there is availability of trucks that will be disposing the refuse in its due time. While responding to the commendable exercise, the Balogo Fulani of Ilori Alaji Atiku acknowledged the executive of Ilorisa's local government. Civil society groups, eminent Nigerian and opposition figures on Tuesday described the rejection of presidential aid, Loretta Onesha nomination as INEC National Commission, Commissioner as a victory for democracy. They said the Senate has restored its integrity and hope in democracy. The INEC committee has reported recommended the rejection of Onesha's because a nomination rose against the federal character principle. When the recommendation was put to voice by Senate President Ahmad Lawan during plenary, the new response was unanimous and unmistaking. Lawan consequently hit the grapple to ratify the voice and disqualify Onoche. Last on the news is sports. Lionel Messi and Barcelona have reached a, an agreement for the forward to sign a new five-year deal with the Catalan club, sources have confirmed to ESPN. Sources added Messi have assessed, has accepted a significant wage reduction to prolong his stay. Messi was a free agent after his contract at Barca expired 
and he had courted interest for Paris Saint Germain and Manchester City since first revealing a desire to end his 20 year relationship with Barca last summer. The 34 year old previous contract was worth over 500 million euros and that expired at the stroke of midnight on July 1. However, with the return of Joan Laporta as president in March, Messi grew move. Messi grew more open to staying at Camp Nou. An official announcement is expected in the coming days. We have come to the end of the news updates on Just Events Online TV. Here is a recount of the story once again. Rep received reports on electoral amendment bill. Agola suspension, Kwara PDP react, demand immediate reversal. Lori Salty, IC chairman, joined Clean Our Local Government campaign present waste bin to Balubo Fulani and others. CSO's PDP orders ill Senate decision over Onoche's rejection, says it is good for democracy. And on sports, Messi agrees five years Barcelona contract accept wage courts. Thank you for watching Just Events Online News Update. A random act of kindness, no matter how small, can make a tremendous impact on someone else's life. Be impactful with kindness. Kindly follow us for more details of the news story on our social media and those with just one tap at Just Events Online. I am Rukoya Shetu. Thank you for watching. Good night.